Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the show. As you can see from the introduction of Prince, giving you the what the hell what the fuck situation we got going on why we in shitsville why we got this hollywood life guy trying to live the hollywood life in atlanta but doing stupid stuff and we had to cancel him yes we had to cancel him because i was quite quite embarrassed on why he was trending on my youtube channel out there in social media world looking like a nut looking like a mud nut now, how can Simon go to looking like a businessman, trying to play top golf out there with no employees, to this? What's wrong with this picture, y'all? The brother is wearing a poncho with some NASA shorts on. He looking good right there. Looks younger. Not a bad looking man when you look at that picture. But when you get here, he looks like a dried up plantain. I'm just saying. Whoo boy. He can go from flossing, rolling down in the Rolls Royce to being by a bicycle, riding on a bicycle, a uh, two wheeler, probably hurt his butt, and a poncho. I'm like, okay. Have you heard anything in your wise time of living? I know you're an accountant. And I know you be watching your money, I guess. That's why you went into finance. Not really sure. Because we're trying to figure out what you make and what you really do for a living. Okay? Because we never see you at an office. And on your social media account, you have yourself playing golf. And you're saying you were out with the employees. Though we didn't see any employees. But you have a nerve to do culture appropriation in a negative way. Uh, Simon, you're not Mexican. You're not from the Latin American culture. Like I said, you look like one of those dried up plantains. Don't know where you're going with it. But did you not know the art of cultural appropriation? Okay, you don't wear costumes. Okay, you don't wear somebody's um, culture of authentic pieces you don't wear for show, for, uh, show or fun that's really like a cloak or a coat that you put on you know when it's kind of cool even though western america has made it into a fashion sense and you would think two old birds like that would have told you not to put on the poncho okay they could have saved you. We couldn't say anything for Portia to help you. Because Portia at this point can't help herself. Alright. But you would think two old broads such as them. Would have told you. Don't do discrimination. Don't do cultural appropriation. But then again. These two broads probably don't know anything about that. Okay. They don't know anything about that. So. But I was just saying. Since you were hanging with them. Like one of them is your girlfriend. And the other one, you just use her as a maid. We thought you would know and be well versed in cultures. And how to not dehumanize another set of people. You see what I'm saying? It's very disrespectful. Just like using the words powwow or the tomahawk chop. And chants they be doing at the Braves game. That's all offensive. Very, very offensive to the Native American people. You see what I'm saying? You can't even say phrases like lowest person on the totem pole. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Indian giver. These are that word. These are those words, those phrases. They're very disrespectful to the 
Latino as well as the Native Americans. Uh, you look like the devil right there, okay? You look like the devil. And what are you over there getting your eyes checked for? Because you're always having those shades. You got cataracts going on that you want to tell us about? Do you have cataracts going on? All right, but you wearing a garment and then saying on your social media platform, you don't understand where we've gotten, where we are uh, not paying attention to someone else's culture or why it's so offensive. And then you try to make reference to Martin Luther King and so I, you know, I'm just like, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop putting quotes over there when you don't know which way is up. You don't know where you're coming or going. You don't know shit. Okay. And I'm just putting it real. Okay. We know you cold. So you go put on a little hoodie. We get it. Got it good. But I, by you being a black man. I don't think you need to be wearing any hoodies. Okay. Because the popo might come up and try to mistake you for a thief or something. Okay. They're not going to think that you're rich. They're just going to see that, you, that you're black. Okay. It's called profiling if you don't know anything about that simon only thing we know that you're about is flossing for the gram you're always over there at the gram showing doing this that and the third and you come off looking like a fool more so yes you do you don't look like a billionaire out there trying to make his money work for him and he not make the money or work for the money you see what i'm saying you haven't taught Portia how to stop chasing that dollar. Let the opportunities of success chase her. But both of y'all are over here on social media clowning. One of y'all, well, one of you all, when y'all supposed to be a unit, the other half is shaking her ass, okay? Like she's at a strip club, shaking for dollars, okay? And trying to make it rain and trying to pick up the pieces, okay? I'm like, one day she's not going to be able to move that romp like she want to get the, the, the moving and she's going to come with a, a, a what do you call it a joint displacement or whatever because she's just tossing it up trying to make it bounce and i don't know what else i'm like <sighs> she missed the stripper pole action days you might want to take her down to magic city all right and let her introduce herself to many many men and she can make it rain over there and pay some of the bills where you all at. Because right now, she ain't doing nothing. She ain't doing nothing in my book. But flirting and carrying on, talking about she's somebody else's wife. When we know, she's not even married to you, okay? So she is basically an independent contractor looking for a suitor, if you may. Alright, because right now, and I'm going to do another video on that one. Why is she hugged up calling somebody else her boo? I thought you was her boo. I thought you was her, her, her husband. I thought you was her zaddy. Okay, but right now, she's calling another actor in Hollywood. Or I don't know where they are. It might be Atlanta Wood. She calling him her boo. So, I'm like, you can't even keep Portia in line. And your damn show couldn't hold on to Fallon. Because she left you. She cheated on you as you would say it and then maybe that could hold some truth to it as well all right so i'm like all these women are just slipping through your hands honey what's the problem simon gabbardi other than you looking like a total ass asinine okay that's what you are asinine to not understand the ways of the world and how you shouldn't be dehumanizing another race of people okay you're not from Ecuador. You're not from Peru. You're not from South America along the Andes Mountain. Okay, so you're not an Aztec person. Okay, but you say you're a billionaire, and even that is questionable at this time. We've been trying to research you out, and we still come up with nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But you're playing top golf out there. And you're saying it was an employee's day. And I guess you were trying to build morale. So I guess it was you, yourself, and I. <laughs> and those are your three employees. You, yourself, and I. All right. Who, boy, I tell you, Simon, Simon, Simon. The things you put on your social media account. It's like you just don't think it through. You don't think it through, man. I be trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. But what you did today by wearing that poncho, you just dehuman excuse me, dehumanized a oppressed group of people for your own entertainment and pleasure. And 
the styling was way off. You missed the mark. If you was trying to show and prove with wearing the uh, poncho, I guess you should have took it on home and got a sombrero. And that is a hat. And you should have got the other two amigos and formed a trio where you could be known as the three amigos okay and it was a comedy type show or a uh, movie they played actually played in the theaters okay can't remember the three actors but it was a comedy field type of movie but yes you missed the part mark you should have had the maracas meaning the shake of things and you should have had the sombrero hat and along with what is really known as a cloak but the mainstream has put it as a poncho okay you should have had your little guitar and played us a little diddly there okay we would have sat and threw money at you just for you to make a fool out of yourself looking like a fool because you was half dressed dehuman dehum <coughs> dehumanizing another race of people for your enjoyment okay there was no need for you to have even purchased and just like my family uh i was saying it was a rug you put on the wall but um damn i can't remember I, what's her name melanie shoot i can't remember but she corrected me it, it's called tapestry that is the correct form of the rug i was trying to say you need to put on your wall they have plenty um what do you call a native american type of wear so tapestry you can lay on the wall if you just felt like you needed to put yourself in a poncho okay and then it looked a little bit too small for you simon because the gut was just hanging out all right you really just look like a i don't know a bad m and m Okay, remember the M&M's and you were the nuts. You do know about the M&M's, right? They come in different colors and you can't stop at one. But yeah, you were the peanut head of it all because I'm like, what a peon are you? That you would dress in your African attire. Now, you know, a black American man would be seen, if he was wearing it right, it would be appropriate because we're the same color. You see what I'm saying? But if I was a white man and I dressed up in African attire or kente cloth, everybody would be mad. Okay? Because it would be deemed as cultural appropriation for the negative. You're not supposed to do that. You're not just supposed to offend another group of people. Whether you are wearing their food or you are uh, no, not wearing your food, wearing their clothing or you know it's just like you a, a white person coming in with uh their face painted brown or black and they are in wrap clothing if you must now would you would you not get offended by that would you not get offended by that so piss poor again simon piss poor on you for showing up and not showing out okay for the good wearing a poncho and then you're asking the question where did it get so offensive where did we go wrong <laughs> Woo, and you were an accounting major but i know you have had to have taken a diversity culture class that's like 101 when you're going to college simon they may have taught you a little bit here and there in high school about different cultures and how try how to try not to offend them by words by clothing by gestures okay that's why we have to put you in shit's field and we're gonna let you stay here for a while all right we're gonna let you stay here for a while because i don't understand all of that knowledge that you got when you were going to college being a well-rounded individual that you would sit up here in the NASA shot. And that's a, that's a fashion mistake as well. Why the hell do you have on some NASA shorts? Okay, spaced out shorts. With a poncho. Where they do that at and why? Is what I'm asking. You go from looking pristine. Well groomed individual. To being a poncho. Alright trying to catch the sun and don't, don't look like those knees are doing you well they look like you're not needed simon okay 
You need to check on that. You need to go to an orthopedic specialist. I would hate to see you running around here with braces or something. All right. So get it together, Simon. Get it together. Or leave it alone. Stop wearing poncho. It's enough to get the kids to have to do that for Halloween. You know what I'm saying? That's dehum dehum ah, dehumanizing the kids, okay? That come from that culture. Unless you're having a school day where you dress up to the nines of a person's culture and you're here to explain why you have it on you see what i'm saying that's the difference because we're learning something as we're going along in grade school but for you to just put out that poncho and think everybody's going to be in open arms wanting to hug you wanting to greet you wanting to have a conversation with you no they're going to be wanting to punch your lights out hurl hurdle all kinds of assaults at your ass okay just because you put on that material. And I know you got it from the Western American world. Because that's what they do half the time. Is miss, mess around, mess up, and defame other people's culture. Okay? Your culture is not good enough for the Western world. That's how they did African Americans or Black Americans when it comes to us wearing our natural hair. They can't stand the thickness, the width, the agility we have to be fostering in all grades of the hairline that they made up. Okay? They want the fullness of our hair. They want the thickness. They want the texture. But it was only given to a group, of, you know, a couple of races of people. They stripped us bare. Made us think that we have to wear weave and wigs and extensions something what portia definitely wear all the time such as her mom okay they wanted to erase the whole identity of what we truly are and who we truly are as a people and a lot of black americans and uh african americans has bought into it bought into that way of thinking which is flawed we all should wear our natural hair okay we'll put a lot of people out of business of course but we would have healthier, stronger hair, long, long, lengthy hair, healthier hair, and we have our edges. But if I were to pull back Portia's mama, uh, pull her hair back, she probably don't have no edges either. Just like her daughter, no edges. But they continue to wear and dress up in these things. And I ain't going to say it's disrespectful. Because it is what it is. When you buy something, you alter the way you look. It could be for the plus. It could be for the negative. You know what I'm saying? Positive, negative. But, uh, yeah. The beauty. Uh, what do you call it? The beauty industry has definitely did a disservice to uh, the black community. But, because uh, it's taking away our essence of just being able to wear our hair. And it be acceptable. You know, we have to have laws for us to have our hair looking a certain way. That's why I know for a fact you don't like it and you don't like it on Portia. Because she said that you prefer her to be in her natural. But Portia has gotten so far gone to wanting to look like a Western American, European woman. She don't have time to sit there and look like how you want her to look Simon she wants the straight hair she wants the long hair she even puts the mess in her daughter's hair and she continues to do that and I'm very afraid that baby PJ won't have any edges when she gets to first grade because her mother continues to do stupid ass shit okay but we really not on them at this time we're still on your behind on the comings and goings or oh, why oh why did you have that poncho on? But I've said my piece. I've said my do. Now we're going to have to let the family come in. Because I let my family know what I'm going to talk about. I give my opinion. You know, my unsolicited valued opinion on what I see. When I'm over there messing with you. And I'm looking like, oh, okay, he did good today. He did good. Good, good, good. But that. I found, I found some flaws. I found some flaws, Simon. That don't look good. I don't like that you're too close to 
Porsche's mom and it, it, it doesn't give the right optics okay it just really don't give the right optics then you're wearing another culture's um, wares and you're asking yourself that valid question where did we go around wrong with wearing a poncho and it has deemed itself to be a, offensive or oppressive hell it always has been that way man where you been have you went to a brave game lately they don't like them to do the tomahawk sh uh, chop because that is offensive that's dehum <coughs> dehumanizing a group of people we're not respecting them we're disrespecting them and you should know this because you're supposed to be an educated man your word i think you used was uh what was that let me see contentious okay which i don't know why you using all those big ass words you don't have a lot of friends that know what those words mean okay but for the people that don't know my family because i like to be educated too and i don't know something it's just a form of aggression disagreement and you know it's argumentative it's what contentious is what he was trying to say all right I'm like, just talk to us, Simon. We're just plain folks. You ain't got to show and, and case your vocabulary for us. Just say it, man. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Stay tuned because you know I'll be coming back with another video. And more than likely, it will be on Porsche or Simon. Or maybe even the mom now because she's getting, she's showing her tail a little bit too much. We have to do some correcting around here. Some correction. Okay, because if we don't do it, who's going to do it? Ain't no sense of them acting an ass on social media. Okay? Like they ain't had no home training. Like they ain't been trained how to act morally, ethically, and professionally. Yes. But I'll see y'all next video, guys. Bye-bye.